Okay. Joining us now is the man who made it all happen, the executive producer of Hollywood Squares, Rick Rosner. How nice oh. to have you with us. Number one, why did we go off the air? We were so hot the last season. I know. It was three years, and um, the way the business works, we started to lose those 7.30 in the evening time periods. Yeah. And uh, people felt that it's such a valuable property. Why not pull it back and bring it back someday and try to get back on in the evenings again? See, and you think they will? I hope so. I what, really do. What were your favorite times? We've all been talking. We keep saying Radio City. That I said when we used to go horseback riding on the beach, which is great. I know. I got uh, This group of people... The, the best in the world to work with. And I think the most fun we ever had was on remotes when we yeah. would go traveling. We were yeah. the first game show in the history of television to go on remote. Hollywood, Florida, the Bahamas, Radio City. And you know, I watch the show at home all the time in LA and you've got these gossip segments on the show. Well, I've got a little gossip about Joan Rivers and the remotes. Oh. You know, we all used to stay in the same hotel. Right. We'd all have a lot of fun. We'd all be in the same hotel. And one of my chores was finding out where Joan was every morning. I mean, you never know just where, what room, where we find you. Excuse One me. night, I, I remember. Oh, you I remember, slept with I remember, the night before, Jones. I remember one night. I remember one night you were pounding on Shadow's door, <laughs> right? On his door. Screaming, pounding, screaming on his door. The man would not let you out. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Along the. Where is this going? No, where is this going? I know. Of all yeah, the guests, who was who did you like the best? Not of us, because we were family, but of the outside, who'd you go, wow, like John said, Betty White? I think you kind of have a fondness for those people you, f you feel you found. Right. Uh, one night, uh, Will Schreiner brought me into the, uh, into the improv yeah. to see a new comic. A uh, young fellow, I don't remember his name, really didn't think he was right for the show. But before he came on, there was this uh, housewife-looking person up there, kind of whining and doing and... And I said, my gosh, she's hysterical. This woman is funny came back to the office the next day and said, if we have a dropout, if we have a star-studded, well-booked show, right. let's, put this let's put this lady on. Her name is Roseanne Barr. Yeah. Roseanne Barr. Let's try it. And by the, so happens that day, somebody dropped out, and we booked Roseanne. And she was terrific. Yeah. I mean, she was absolutely brilliant. Who else? Who else? I guess probably Alf. It was fun putting yeah. Alf on the show when, when he first came out. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. That's, Louis right. That's right. I happen to like Professor Erwin Corey, who yeah. I knew used to drive you crazy. Drive me drove crazy. Drove everybody crazy. Yeah. I like him. I loved Erwin Corey. Because he never Corey. stopped like talking. The man would not answer a question. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> who made the most demands? Who made the... I, Outside of me. <laughs> Spike. I know. Everybody Spike. had their little, you know, little things that they kind of needed or wanted. And I, uh, no one really stands out in my mind as making the most demands, per se. Who didn't show up that you booked? Do we ever have that crisis? Uh, we had one, uh, we did. We did have a no-show. For some reason, Martha Ray couldn't make it at the last minute one day. And, uh, we kind of quickly improvised. I think we, we dressed brought, Jim up. We dressed Jim up. I think we had to improvise. And then John B. heard himself playing. A, a, I pulled my back. On a, yeah. on a headboard or something. What was it? Uh -huh. No, I pulled my back. Uh -huh. I was in spasm <laughs> in the hospital. Yeah, and you were in making... spasm, all right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and Shadow, Shadow Hulk, I think filled Joan it did it easily, yeah. right? Yeah. And Jim did it. What about it. Smart and Dumb? Who was the smartest star? <laughs> you. Absolutely. Wait for that Absolutely. One. But tell what I used to do. Well, I you, used to read the magazine. I, I know the woman would come in with a sack of magazines. She'd figure, where were we reading? What were we like? National Geographic, this, the, the, the thing. Oh, we right. did my homework, so That's I figured right. I, I could be smart on Sitting camera. Sitting in a makeup chair, seeing Joan Rivers read an automobile magazine. Yeah, just, in <laughs> case, just, just in case. Just in case. Right. Did you get rich out of this, seriously? I'm not rich. I mean, but you yeah. did well. Paid a salary. It yeah. was comfortable. <laughs> it was, was not. <laughs> sorry. I think you did better than most people I don't think on the show. Better. Well, that, you were selling jewelry and this. You always then. had something that, she was selling, wasn't she? No, not at that point. Okay, not okay. at that point. What about now? You, why? Waiting for Hollywood Squares to come back. What are you doing now? Uh, we've got a new show coming on the air. Glad you asked. From your old home, Caesar's Palace in right, Las Vegas. Right. I think it's the first game show to ever come from a remote location. Ahmad Rashad is the host. It's from Caesar's Palace, great place in Las Vegas, and it starts June 21st on NBC. That sounds great. Let's take a look, okay? Fine. That does sound great. Let's take a look.